Hello, a couple of days ago, OpenAI released a new ChatGPT version or ChatGPT model, which is called 401. When I heard this 401 at first, I thought it's a strange ego shooter or multiplayer mode where four people are playing against one person for on one, but no, it's 401. Um, and the idea of this video is to test this preview version which offers advanced reasoning a little bit so I will already switch to this one here and there are some people who are really praising it a lot and say hey we are fucked um, we have lost our fight against AI our education system and our knowledge society and the whole economy are uh, before their biggest change of all times and what is left to expose AI and there are also other articles who say okay this it's, it's still kind of dumb or maybe we are as humans we are a little too dumb to ask um, this large language model the right questions so the idea of this video as set is to check it a little bit and i would like to test it and i will uh, make my video a little smaller test it with questions from our new course of studies um, Bachelor of Engineering Science at our university where I'm also partly responsible for a course on Fundamentals of Electrical Engineering for international bachelor students and um, yeah this is our exercise booklet and the idea is just to ask ChatGPT um, maybe the first three simple questions here and to check how the answers are um, there is some kind of not too much, but of course, some kind of logical reasoning behind these questions. Um, yeah, so let's see what we can do. And I think the easiest way to um, do this here with all the symbols and units and equations and so on is I would just always take a screenshot of the task, uh, put it into ChatGPT and say, uh, can you please solve this task and unfortunately as you can see I cannot insert the picture here which is uh, not that nice okay so um, then we will go like this I thought it's uh, still possible to insert pictures but obviously it's not okay but um, the equations and symbols and units don't look too bad maybe here we have to tell it what seconds per kilogram and Kelvin um, and the rest should be okay maybe we can say this is theta one and theta two like this okay so let's go for this and uh, while okay it's thinking maybe I should have switched it to English um, but it answers in English and it says it has some thoughts about six seconds I'm, I'm not sure what this should be okay so to calculate the time we need to have the following steps we need to convert the volume to mass water has a density of one kilogram per liter so one liter is the same as one kilogram um, this is okay so now we have a temperature difference of 50 Kelvin so then we can use this heat energy um, uh, so the, the, the formula is more or less inside this unit here. So what seconds is energy is the same as joule. And we have the mass and we have the temperature difference. So if we multiply this heat capacity with the mass and with the temperature difference, then we get the energy. This is what is done here. Um, so we end up with 209 point something joules. What is nice here that the units are also included in the equation, not only um, for the final result, of course. Um, yeah, here's also a comma is used for English text. I would rather um, imagine or prefer a dot, but it's okay because of this, there is some small space here that should not be there. And then this is converted and um, into the time and the result is absolutely correct. It's 104.6 something um, seconds. And then this is also converted into minutes. So it's a little less 
uh, than two minutes or approximately 105 seconds. And this answer is absolutely correct. Um, I would say here, um, this is almost too exact because it's more like a practical task. Yeah, you have one liter of water, you have uh, a heater or a kettle that approximately has this power of two kilowatts. Of course, you don't know exactly um, how this power is. Might be some watts more, some watts less. And also you cannot determine or measure the temperature that exactly. Um, and also you, you maybe need to steer the water um, to get some kind of average temperature. So no one will be able to measure this time up to up to a millisecond. So exactly that it's necessary to heat up the water. But here the answer um, and the calculation and uh, including all the units and all stuff looks very good. So let's open up a new chat. And um, I can still not insert pictures, so I will just go with the text and say, okay, for some interference voltage, V2, a level of 110 dB is specify specified, and this value refers to some uh, other voltage, some reference voltage that is one microvolt. And the question is, how large is this second voltage in volt? And then we have this equation here that the level in decibel is the same as 20 times the decadic logarithm of the ratio of these two voltages. Maybe I also delete this space and this other strange sign here that comes from the uh, copy and paste from the, from the PDF file. And let's go for this question. And so, yeah, to calculate it um, by hand, let's say, if we would have 120 dB, which is easy to calculate, we would need to divide by this 20. So we end up with six. Then we need to invert the decadic logarithm. So we need to have 10 to the power of six, which is a million. And so we have, we for 120 dB, we would have a million microvolts, which is one volt. And now we have 10 dB less, 10 dB minus 10 dB for root power quantities for voltages is a factor of about one over three. So we have one over three, a third of a volt. This should be the answer. Okay, so um, ChatGPT took, if I interpret this correctly, four seconds to answer this question and says, um, to find the voltage, we need to start with the given formula and the values that are given. One microvolt is 10 to the power of minus 6 volt. Then we um, convert, convert, convert and simplify. This, from my point of view, does not look too bad, right? It's the same calculation. We divide by 20. Then we inverse the decadic logarithm, have not 10 to the power of 6, but 10 to the power of 5.5 and calculate this um, okay okay yeah so here it calculates not one million but um, 100 thousand and now this is really ha hmm, strange and confusing because remember the answer before there the comma was the decimal separator now the comma here is not the decimal separator the comma here is the thousand separator. Um, so this is 100,000 multiplied with the square root of 10. Square root of 10 is approximately 3. And um, yeah, so to do them approximately 3 as said. And so then we can calculate. So here this is the thousand separator. Here this is the decimal separator. And we end up with 0 0.316 volts. And this is also uh, absolutely correct. Um, the only disadvantage here is that, yeah, this is, if if you are not familiar with the calculation here, you might be confused um, with this thousand and decimal separator. Maybe we can ask back ChatGPT in your calculation, uh, what does the comma 
between numbers mean and what does the dot between numbers mean? Um, yeah, just to ask, oh, and I have to send, uh, just to ask what, what the meaning of this is. Um, be, because as said, um, it's, I, I would say it's rather confusing and that's why, um, by the way, you should never ever use a comma, a dot, a something as a thousand separator because it just confuses people. Um, just if you want to separate the digits from each other, just use a space or small space, thin space, something like this. Okay, so here it says the comma between numbers is a thousand separator to make large numbers easier to read. Um, okay, and the dot between numbers is the decimal point and the, and the multiplication sign. Okay. Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, um, quite good. So, to summarize, in between um, both first answers, more or less absolutely correct, maybe except for some small um, issues there. But for this task, we, from my point of view, don't really need this kind of logical reasoning because it's just you have some equation. Uh, you rearrange the equation, you insert the values and um, you get some result. And if you do the number crunching correctly, and I assume that here in the background some, well, you can check what happens here. Die Herausforderung verstehen, okay. Um, yeah, so I, I assume that the number crunching in the background is done with some Python code or something like this as in other uh, ChatGPT4 versions. So not so much can go wrong there. And then you just just more or less need to take care about the proper units and the corresponding conversion factors. So let's open up a new chat and continue with the last question. A pump is lifting 20 cubic, I will write it like this, cubic meters of water per hour into a container that is 25 meters higher and the efficiency of this pump is eta pump 70%. And now the question is what electrical power must the drive motor absorb um, to pump this um, in this time to this height if the motor has an efficiency of 90%. And yeah, still at the end, you just need to set up some equations and uh, need to insert the values and rearrange these formulas. But maybe you need a little more uh, logical reasoning what this input and output um, in this case. So what this input and output of the pump, what this input and output of the motor. Um, so let's see what ChatGPT does and answers. It's once again thinking and it's calculating the hydraulic power in this case. Um, and it took 12 seconds to get a result. Okay, so we need some hydraulic power and this is hmm, 20. Hmm. Okay, no, it's a flow rate. It's not it's not um, not an energy or something. It's a flow rate cubic meters per hour divided by 300,000 uh, 3,600 seconds per hour. Okay. So then here in this case the units are missing because this should be also then uh, cubic meters per second and we get this 0 0.555 something here. Cubic meters per second. Okay. So then hydraulic power is Density of water, acceleration or uh, gravitational uh, constant for the force and some height and the flow rate. And um, I would say this makes sense because um, this times this gives something like mass per second and um, gravitational constant times height times mass gives a power and uh, uh, gives an energy and energy per time gives power. So this this makes sense. Yeah. So then we here we have the typical. This is what I would expect. Um, this is this is the way how we can expose AI 
AI can't do, large language models can't do with units um, because this should be mass, this should be, uh, or this should be kilograms, this should be meter per second squared, this should be meter, and this should be something like um, cubic meter per, and so on and so on. And at the end, we get 1.36 kilowatts. So the result is okay. Um, the unit is correct. Here the units are missing. And now we need to use these efficiencies and we need to adjust the pump efficiency. So the mechanical power that goes into the motor, uh, into the pump, that comes out of the motor, that goes into the pump, must of course be larger than the mechanical output power or the, the, the hydraulic power coming out of the pump. So we need to divide this by 0.7 by the efficiency end up with 1.9 something kilowatts and then we do the same for the motor efficiency so once again the electrical power going into the motor must be larger than the mechanical power coming out of the motor so we end up with 2.16 kilowatts and this is also uh, totally correct so yeah i would say um, I mean, these are introductory tasks. These are not too complicated task, tasks, but ChatGPT 401 preview is doing a pretty good job here in solving these tasks, um, except for these units here. So maybe last thing that I can do is, can you please add the missing units for intermediate calculations uh, in parentheses like for the hydraulic power and let's see what it does if it properly understands this question it's thinking and it's, I think, just redoing <laughs> this calculation and checking the units. And oh, it takes some time, uh, 15 seconds. Okay, so it does this once again. It has the units here and now it's, yeah, so I think it just repeated what it, what it has done before. Okay, and so let's check. Um, we have the same stuff here. So now it has added this units, 20 divided, 20 cubic meters divided by 300, uh, 3,600 seconds. Okay, so here, very long calculation of the units, but let's see if this makes sense, um, which would be, from my point of view, really, really amazing if, if, if it makes sense. So let's see, we have, this, uh, this is, was the density, 1000 kilograms per cubic meter, which perfectly makes sense for water. Then we have this um, acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 uh, meter per square second. This also makes sense. This is the height in meter and this is our flow rate. So the cubic meter here and the cubic meter here, they will cancel each other. And so we have meter times meter is square meter or meter times meter and then we have an additional kilogram and we have seconds to the power of two and seconds to the power of one gives seconds to the power of three so let's see what it does here so here it puts all the numbers to the left side puts all the units to the right side which is um, a nice way to to check this yeah, so once again we can see okay these cubic meter here and there they will cancel each other so we get <laughs> okay now it's summarizing once again okay still they cancel each other but at the end uh, as already said we get kilogram we get uh, meter square and we get seconds to the power of three and now <laughs> okay it's adding this explanation of units that kilogram multiplied with square meter divided by seconds to the power of three is what or is what or what um yeah and there in this case it might be 
um, interesting to, and then, okay, and then the efficiencies, of course, are no problem. Here we have always what. Um, so I think here some, some intermediate steps are, are missing. Um, so kilograms multiplied with meter divided by a second to the power of two would be the same as Newton, would be the unit of a force. So then we are missing some meter. So Newton times meter, this would be joule, this would be the energy, and then we are still missing some second um, in the denominator. And so joule divided by second gives what? Um, so this will be then really the, probably the last thing that I will ask ChatGPT in this video. Um, can you show please show some intermediate steps why kilogram multiplied with meter square divided by second to the power of three equals what? So let's see if it also tries to explain something with Newton and Joule and force and force integrated over some distance or some length gives energy and energy uh, divided by time gives power. Okay, so let's recall the fundamental SI units involved. And okay, we have kilogram meter seconds, Newton, Joule, what? And a Newton is kilogram meter divided by second square, exactly. Joule is force times distance, Newton times meter. So Joule is kilogram meter squared divided by second squared. And I said here we are, we, we are still missing one second. So Joule divided per second work per time is power. And this is the substitution for the joule um, then. And so we finally end up um, with, from my point of view, a very, very, I, I, I could not write it down any better in this case. Uh, what the joule in Newton and a watt is with all these corresponding units. And looking at this on first glance, I would say it's totally correct. And now we can, once again, so the answer here is very long from my point of view. Yeah? You could you could explain this just a little shorter. Uh, imagine if you are um, doing an exercise on a blackboard, you, you don't, or in writing something by hand in your notebook, uh, you don't want to write um, all this stuff down um, so you would try to make this a little shorter but um, yeah, it's still looking multiplying the remaining units and so on um, it's still looking very good simplifies to what because a newton is kilogrammeter a joule is and so on and so on so it's it's repeating once and again and again and I hope this clarifies how the units in your calculation equates to what. Um, so deciding between these two articles, um, I have to admit I would I would rather decide for the first one. I don't know if this will be really this uh, as announced the fundamental change of our education system in our knowledge society and of all our economy, but. Um, in solving very simple engineering tasks um, that let's say deal with the Wikipedia knowledge, ChatGPT 401 is doing a pretty good job.